How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. We are back with another Daz Watches. We've had a long time standing on this channel. A saying that we live by. That if you're not hurting anyone, no one cares. Knock yourself out. Do what you want, live your life. You know, that kind of thing. A lot of people who live their lives or try to live their lives decide, though, to put their stuff on the internet for the world to see. Many of them thinking the world will be accepting of their behavior. And also there must be a bit of naivety because I don't think they understand people won't fully be able to comprehend their situation. Today on Daz Watches, we are going to be diving into the world of adult babies. There are many of them, it's a, it's a true lifestyle. Sometimes it's a kink, sometimes it's linked to um, mental disorders and sadly abuse. But something you guys have been asking me to dive back into for a long time, and we're gonna be looking at two couples who live this lifestyle. At no point in my life have I ever wanted to jump back into a diaper. So this is gonna be, this could be interesting. Let's watch the video. While Deja was researching BDSM for Dom, she realized she had a kink of her own. Good start. Good start. Is that Teddy being shit on? What's that on his head? Please tell me it's like fake ice cream. He would say, I know what you are, you're a brat. I googled brat, you know, like what bratting. Of course his name's Dom. <laughs> of course he is. He looks like a dominant. <laughs> I was like, I like all this stuff. <laughs> like, I like this stuff. Okay, she googled brat and liked all of this stuff. It's kind of ironic that if she hadn't never been called brat, none of this would have been happened. Okay, let's Google brat and see what she likes. I like all this stuff. The word brat is an informal noun, which means a child who behaves badly, is annoying or spoiled. Brat can also be described as an ill-mannered or immature person. Brat may also refer to the brat diet, which is normal bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. I like that one. That brat I like. So she saw all this annoying, spoiled, behaves badly child and thought, this is me. Brilliant. Also, um, FYI, anyone who wears a padlock around their neck, Stay, stay away. It's always leading down the alleyway of cringe. Yeah, I could be a brat. I named this one after my daddy. You named it after your what now? Daddy loves you, princess. <laughs> why is there an adult man trapped in that demon bear? Why, wait, why does she name it after her dad? And also, why is it a dad's voice? And also, why does it look like a demon? That teddy bear looked like it was straight out of Pan's labyrinth. Deja likes to behave and be treated like a child, or what's called a little. A little? It's a little annoying. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be open, all right? I'm trying to be understanding, okay? I'm more accepting now. It's hard to watch though, especially because she's an adult pretending to be a child and she's got battleships on the bed. Ain't no little boy or girl playing battleships. That's an adult game. I refuse to believe that's for babies. They'd eat the fucking ship. Little space is you kind of like age regress. Yes, it's not. <laughs> I, <can't>, I feel. <laughs> I feel like I can't say half the shit that I want to say. Let's just let's just keep watching. Let's keep watching, okay? And this is sunny. This one's supposed to smell like mint. That's the one with shit on its head. There's no way that smells like mint. Play this one. Play speakaboo. All her toys. Where'd she get her toys from? What's that, what's that couple in The Conjuring? Like Lorraine and whatever. Warren or whatever they're called. And they have a basement full of cursed objects. That's where she shops. Any like responsibility in that moment. I don't have to worry about, I wonder if that bill is due tomorrow. Yeah, we all don't want bills. You know, when a bill drops on your mat and you read it, oh shit, I owe money. You know, ah, oh, damn it, I'm in debt. You don't escape that by going, do you know what? I don't want to think about this right now. I'm going to go have my husband wipe my ass. <laughs> you know? I'm going to go dribble down myself and shit my pants. Like that, that doesn't, not only is the bill still waiting to be paid after you've done that, but like if you want escapism, like read a book or play a game. There's, there's many forms of escapism. Oh, God damn it. I, this is actually one of those cases though, where it is a choice. And it is a kink. I wonder, you know, if I left the stove on. What did she say? That bill is due tomorrow, or I wonder, you know, if I left the stove on. 
If you've left the stove on, your house is gonna burn down! Oh, I wonder if I won't left the stove on. Never mind, I'm gonna be seven. Like, no! Turn the stove off and then be seven. That's stupid logic. And it's kind of like a de-stress. Like some people de-stress by working out. I like to de-stress in little space. Little space. Well, that just makes it creepier, doesn't it? It's creepier than the way he is looking at her. Dom. Dom. Probably thinks he's like Vin Diesel or something. That's not Vin Diesel. That's Vin Unleaded. <laughs> so Flip it! It's got horns. Where did she get that from? Why is her dad's voice in it? Or is it Dom's? She went to build a bear, all right? She built bestiality. That's what she did. So Dom has found himself taking on the role of daddy. Don't do that. Don't say that. Whoever started that, I think I've mentioned this so many times throughout the years on this channel, all right? Whoever, how did that come about whole daddy thing? Who was the first woman to call their husband daddy? When did that happen? What were they doing? You know, what were they doing? Did it, was she just thinking of her dad and it slipped out? Oh, daddy. And then the guy was like, hang on. Keep, keep calling me that. Do you know what I mean? How did that become a thing? That's not normal. Don't call me dad. I'll stop what I'm doing and I'll leave. Kind of like a learning curve for me. Well, it's not a learning curve, is it? Hmm, I now have to like learn how to babysit my wife. Oh, I know. Divorced. There you go. Divorced. The little space is more of the, the needy side, you know. I wow, you, your hat is so tight. Dom, Dage's daddy. So much wrong with this image. If he took that hat off his head, you might have to squirt some oil up in there to get it off. He might think more clearly. I need you to take care of me. I need you to comfort me. I need to know that you're here to such like... But why the demon bear, though? Why, what are those keys? What are those keys do? I'm like, now I need to know what those keys do. You can't just wear keys around your neck and not tell me what they do! Oh, I bet they unlock something for her. Do you think? I just lost my straw! Here, take this one. Thank you. Yeah. That's a little bit of throw up, that was. You know, at the back of the throat. Yeah. Yeah, that was last night's dinner. That's what I just tasted. <clears throat> you know, Deja in little space, and I mean, like, you have to repeat yourself. You have to make sure that they're paying attention. It just seems like too much hard work. I know, like, love is love, you know, but there is a limit. You know, it's give and take in a relationship. You know, sometimes your partner wants to do something and you don't really want to do it but you do it for them because you love them. But wiping their ass for them is, is kind of a, that's too much. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you gotta compromise. You gotta compromise. Patience level has to be yeah. heightened a bunch. Cat ears, again, she's wearing cat ears. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you if, you, if you're looking for a red flag off the bat, cat ears. It's, just, it's the thing. I went on tour and so many dazzlers who wore cat ears go, Daz, you <laughs> They were like coming at me. They were like, Daz, you make fun of people that wear cat ears, but I'm perfectly normal. Then proceeds to take a picture with me like a five-year-old anime character. No! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do adults who pretend to be children. I love Disney, right? Who doesn't? Maybe not modern Disney. I feel like it's going down the toilet a bit. I'm talking about real Disney. Classic Disney. So some would say that qualifies as a Disney adult because you're an adult who likes Disney and that's fine. But actual Disney adults who dress up as the characters and cry every time they see the tower. No, no. I mean, they're happy, they're not hurting anyone. So it doesn't matter. But I just don't think I could live alongside it. Do you know what I mean? For this pair, the daddy dom little girl relationship is Listen to the sentence, right? We're wondering why there's so many pedos in the world, right? Listen to that sentence. The daddy, dom, little girl relationship. Those are all words that should never be put in the same sentence. It just shouldn't exist. And a part of me is like, all right, first of all, respect to him because he has the patience to put up with his shit. He must really love her and her weird stuff toys. But at the same time, 
What does that say about him? She's acting, dressing, talking, behaving, living like a toddler. And that's a kink. This is why I don't believe all the alien crap that's coming out at the moment. Because there's no way aliens are visiting here. They fly down, see a 50-year-old woman go, 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 gaga, and then piss off. There's no way they're invading. They're not, they don't want any part of the human race now. Maybe like 40 years ago, not now. They're, they're not interested. Even, even for our water and supplies, they're not stopping here. You gotta evaluate shit. Everyone's coming out as a pedophile. It's because of this. <laughs> it's not normal. It's strictly non-sexual. It's always for adults. It's not, to, you're not supposed to sexualize you know, things that are- But it's still your partner. It's still someone that you look at, are attracted to, and I, like, I, I don't think it, I think it's, I don't know. I don't think it's, um, I think it does play into the sexual aspect for it, you know? I just think it's, I think it's wrong. Are childlike. I know that's like a lot of people have a hard time. They start thinking of all these outlandish things, like- Yeah, that, that's- that's not good. If you gave me that on my birthday, I think I'd drop kick you in the tit. Just one of just one of the tits. I just drop kick you in the tit. Oh my gosh, you're a pedophile. Oh my god, you're incestual. That's so disgusting. Now ours is non In like there, there's a famous Halloween costume that um is still very popular today, and it's the schoolgirl costume. And women go out and buy these things like so easily without thinking. <laughs> I'm a naughty schoolgirl, oh, and men like that. And think about that. <laughs> like, why is the fantasy of a naughty schoolgirl a thing? It is sexualized. It does play into their relationship. They don't take a break from being adults. They're still the same people. <laughs> I want, personally, all this stuff aside, I just want to see what's under Dom's hat. Never takes it off. Sexual. There are people who do it sexually, but they're doing it with other consenting adults. There are certain rules she's expected to follow. Oh no, what are the rules? They're rules? He's got a list of rules? No. To me, because if I don't, then he doesn't know that I'm paying attention or listening. Is that like a punishment system though? Oh, it's, it's making me bite my lip. <laughs> so frustrated. Not in, not in that way. Not like, Ugh. more like, Ugh. <laughs> That, that just sounded wrong, didn't it? Another rule I have is I check in every two hours when we're apart. That doesn't sound healthy at all. Check in every two hours when we're apart. Yeah, this is definitely... I don't really, like, again, knock yourself out, whatever. This is just my opinion. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day, does it? But th these dominant relationships, I don't know. I just don't think they're very healthy for your mind. We all get excited by different things, but I don't know, having... Having this type of relationship, um, I don't know. I just don't think it ever really ends well. Is, I can't say the F word. It's my name. Oh, yes, and the last rule. What was that, that you whispered uncomfortably? Has he got a bandana under that hat as well? Has he got the launch codes for the president hidden under there? Why is it so secure? What's under your hat? What's my name? Oh, yes, and the last rule. What's he talking about? What's my name? Yeah. I have his, I'm supposed to call him daddy. His name is daddy at all times. So you call him daddy at all times. Okay. So this is, this is like in play like all the time then. That's weird. But when Deja misbehaves, Dom, the Dom, parcels out her punishments. Poor fucking dog. Can you imagine what he's seen? That dog needs therapy. I have to do lines when I break a rule or I get in trouble. I will not forget to check in with daddy. Oh, what, you gotta call him every two hours? To set, you know, just put an air tag on her. <laughs> get her an eye watch, right? Get Life 360 or something, just follow her. I had to write like 66 times because I was neglecting to call him. Wow. So do you not like calling him that then? Or is it just like you're just pretending to play and be bad? I don't know. I'm so confused. They're gonna be like Dr. Seuss sentences soon. No. What? Did you just dead to her shit and the stand of it sneer? Didn't get that. <laughs> Bella's here! 
Who the hell's Bella and why is she also wearing cat ears? Been given permission to have a friend over, who is also a little. Oh my god, there, there's so many of them. They're having a slumber party. There's enough of them to have a slumber party. I didn't have slumber parties growing up. I didn't have enough friends. How are these people making friends? And I was a cool kid. I had a really cool bike. Are you falling for your crush too quickly? Dom's come full circle from tying. This, this, I don't know, I don't know what this man's lacking in life. But he just doesn't look happy, does he? But he, he wants all this. <laughs> but does, at the same time, it just looks like he doesn't. Dom's come full circle from tying up and spanking her. Oh, oh, we're going there. But I thought it wasn't a sexual thing, never mind. Yeah, I figured I'd, I'd be like their little butler for a while. Oh, we're actually having a tea party. It's not the tea party I've... I've wanted to be a part of, but here we are. To treating her like a little princess at a tea party. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how to demasculate your man? Make him serve tea in china cups. <laughs> there's no, there's no way you can look like a man with that. <laughs> when you got a pinch like that, that's it. You, you're no longer a man. <laughs> Might want to blow on it. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, the things we do for love. Oh, I thought that trip to India I have to do with my partner was strenuous. This is another level. Okay, that was the first couple. Uh, there's another couple that we're going to watch. Um, and I think this one might be the other end of the, of the spectrum. That was a very, like, consenting um, kind of kink. Whereas I think the next one is more of a, like, lifestyle choice. Let's take a look. Words of Peter Pan. I never want to grow up. I'm with Moana here. Same expression. I agree with what she's thinking. Well, see, don't just put Moana in with the brats. She looks so out of place. And there you are! <laughs> oh, fuck. I was an 8-bit Ryan in a while. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan, I... I love you. <laughs> He's got the same hair as you, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little and he's my daddy. The end. And they call it a little as well. Okay. USA. It always seems to be in the USA, doesn't it? Haven't seen any British adult babies, but there probably are some. This is a valley of ashes, a fantastic farm where ashes grow like wheat into ridges and hills and grotesque gardens. What's she reading? Oh, it's The Great Gatsby, I think. Good film. Through the power of dreary air. Peppa and Emily. <laughs> that transition was so deliberate. <laughs> like to share? Look, look, look at that animal. Look at that animal. He's had no choice in any of this. He was born, right? He's like, yay. Gonna get a new parent. Gonna have a cool home. Stuff to scratch. Nope, this is what he got lumped with. They're toys with each other. I have found my prince. I call him daddy. <laughs> Enough said. My name is Max. And I'm 20, but not really, because I'm five. All right. My brain... Stopped working for a minute then. It like froze. I think it was processing. Uh, my name is Johnny and I'm 31. Fucking Moana in every scene. She's like, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Moana, man. Someone go save Moana. Consider the coconut. I want to fucking leave. <laughs> no. Because you're off. I have a daddy baby day. Daddy baby day. Good jacket on. Daddy baby day. I get, I do, I get like a shiver up my spine. It hurts. It hurts. I don't know, like, I, <laughs> I don't know. Also, I want to take Moana. Leave Moana alone, all right? People on her island right now are just completely in disrepair without her. DDLG, by definition, is daddy dom little girl, and it is a subsection of BDSM. So how is it like, they, they keep defending it, like saying it's not a sexual thing, that when the sex happens, it's two adults. But at the same time, it's a form of BDSM, 
Like, it, it's in the... I don't... They keep contradicting themselves. This is a sexual thing. This is your partner acting like a child. There has to be an attraction there. I don't know. I don't know. Where's the line? I'm a beacher. There are a lot of people. <laughs> I'm gonna beat ya. Yeah, you are. <laughs> people in the community that do this sexually, um, and I am not one of those people. This is a completely non-sexual lifestyle. For so you don't, you don't sleep together. No wonder he looks depressed. Part of this lifestyle, she had shown me the videos that she was watching. She showed me a sippy cup, and that she was. I don't know why that made me laugh when he said sippy cup. <laughs> sippy cup. <laughs> I don't know. That just made me laugh. For a lot of for a lot of people, it's non-sexual. It's and like for us, it's non-sexual. But you must sleep together, right? You must have a relationship. Does it just stop for that part, and then afterwards you just carry on? I, I don't know. This is where like I'm confused because I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't think you can just cut that part out completely if this is a lifestyle. And, it's, and again, they, they've classed it as a kink, you know? Um, I don't know, like, you, you let me know what you guys think about it. If it's been a really hard day and she's been a really good girl, we'll go to the park. I mean, these parks were built, though, for kids. Do you know what I mean? This is why they go on rainy days, because there's no other parents or kids there. It's kind of like, you know, how Twilight, how they could only play baseball when there was a storm. Stupid film. <laughs> I like puddles. Going to the park. Part of me thought she was going to run into a pole. Just poof. <laughs> Moana just goes flying. Make way, make way. <laughs> oh, the Moana jokes. <laughs> Go shopping and pay an electric bill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had a little moment, but I, I'm over it now. Only dogs should be able to hear that. What is that swing? What is that? Looks like a sex swing. Why is it in a children's park? Why has it got a cushion? Why is that my focus? I'm little a lot of the time, especially when we're at home, you know? I don't just randomly like shout daddy because that's involving other people. And yeah, there's like kids over there, but shouting daddy would be involving other people. You, you're still taking this outside into a park. Okay, stop, I'm sick. Daddy! Yeah, you just said daddy in, like, in earshot of these kids. So again, they just contradict themselves. I think they're just trying to protect their image because they know it's not completely normal. There might be a bit of embarrassment about um, living this lifestyle. And I think it's fine to live this lifestyle, but again, I don't think you should include other people, do it in public spaces. Again, it's not just even for other people's sake. Like, I'm not being selfish. It's for their um, benefit as well, because there are just people out there. Where are they, in Kentucky? You know, uh, there's people out there that just won't agree with it, and they might, like, get hurt or something. Just got to be a little bit more self-aware about the world around you as well. Oh, if she did that, I mean, I just bought a new pair of Nikes, and if she did that, little or not, Moana's going to go up her ass. <laughs> Oh no, my socks are wet. Don't jump in a puddle then, you silly bitch. That, that's how I actually would talk <laughs> to my daughter. <laughs> She'd like jump in a river and go, Dad, I'm wet. I'm like, yeah. Yes. And now I am. <laughs> oh, they're very wet now. He must be thinking, fuck. I just want to go home. Does it... Is there never like a, does it not wear on them at, at all? My dom, my daddy, takes care of me, but I also take care of him. We take care of each other. How are you taking care of him then? Let's see that side. Kiss. See, that's, um, yeah, like, I don't think I could kiss someone acting like a child. Like, do you know what I mean? I can't be the only one. I can't be. And some other stuff. And this is my passy box. What's a passy box? What's passy mean? And this has all of my pacifiers and stuff in it. Oh, of 
course. Passy is short for pacifier. Should have known, really. And I have a lot of them. Vegetables. Jesus, they're blinged out. I've never seen pacifiers so blinged out. That you can, like, cut like that. Why was that impressive? I wasn't expecting that, but she just cut that plastic fruit in half. <laughs> Maybe I'm three. I don't know. And I really like those. Look at that cat in the background just looking for a way out. He's like, where the f I'm getting out of here. I'm getting me an owner. That's their age. And feeds me. All of my rules over here um, by the bed. Look, he's trying to tear him down. That cat's like, enough of the bullshit. I have um, an extensive list of rules, but the main ones... What's this list? That's it. No tantrums. Don't tell daddy no. This includes back talking. When upset, use your words to communicate with daddy. It's that dinner repeating on me again. Ask daddy permission to have sweets. Until you get a job, get up at 11am every day and get up when the alarm goes off. Get up at 11am. Half the day's gone! Actively search for a job until you get a job. <laughs> this is him saying, get out of the house and get a fucking job now. Clean up after animals, clean up after yourself. Brush teeth before morning. That's a very disturbing list. My favorite toys are all of my stuffies and my Monster High dolls. Oh, they're Monster High. I thought they were brats. This is how out of touch I am. Jesus. I'm the best at coloring. To try and explain this. That cat is like, listen, I got some catnip. I can hook you up. Just let me out the front door and turn the other way. <laughs> this lifestyle is kind of like a coloring book where she hands me the lines and I can just fill them in with whatever color I want. That made no sense, my man. And again, he doesn't sound happy. The last guy didn't look happy. He doesn't look happy. He doesn't sound happy. I'm the best fun in the world. The most fun ever. Most fun ever with the best daddy ever. <sighs> I don't know. I know that I'm gonna have that inside me because I just, I don't wanna grow up. To start a GoFundMe for that cat. I don't care what anyone says. All right, so that was two completely different stories. Um, there is also another side of the spectrum, uh, which I think I need to acknowledge because it would be irresponsible on my platform not to. We don't know their story. We don't know if they are subjects of abuse or um, depression. And, you know, normally these are tied hand in hand, but I think these two stories that we just witnessed. I don't think that that was a part of it. We don't know, but it could be. So we need to understand that before we, you know, rush in head first without thinking. And again, no one's getting hurt. No one's hurting anyone. For me personally, I, I find it truly bizarre and it borderline worrying more so for the partner, the, the men who want to be with this. I think that that's... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I fully trust that, especially in today's world with the information we have. I'm going to pass it off to you guys. What do you think? Use the comment section for what you believe and let's discuss this world of baby adults. Are there any baby adults out there that watch me? That's a thought. Comment. Let's hear, you know, and uh, thank you for sending me these videos. <laughs> guys, I'm going to leave it there. I think I'm going to go now and pay my taxes twice, just so I feel as adult as possible. Like, love, caress my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling! <laughs>